Hey guys, Tristan here with the CPAPstore.ca. Today we're gonna to talk about how loud a CPAP machine here is. I got the AirSense 11 uh, CPAP machine um, and I tested this machine, so we're gonna talk about that. And uh, we're gonna talk about different masks and stuff like that in this video. Now, chances are you're watching this video because you don't have a machine. Uh, your doctor said, hey, you need to get a CPAP. You're a 10 pressure. Well, what does that mean? Is it gonna be too loud for the bedroom for you? Is that gonna bother your spouse? Or is it gonna bother you? When you type in on Google how loud a CPAP machine is, they generally say 30 decibels. I think that number is a little bit false because 30 decibels is about best case scenario a decibel meter kind of running next to this not accounting for the masks and the mask leaks and and that type of stuff now before i talk about what the results i got where i should tell you how much decibels are because there's no point of you watching this video if you don't know how high decibels are so if i go on my phone and go to spotify and just type in white noise i have Deep phase one noise by Mill or Millie Hughes. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. I have an iPhone 13 Pro here. So if you have a similar phone, this might help you. And I have this about six to seven inches away and play. We'll see how much uh, decibels we get on my meter here. So 65 decibels at max volume. At half volume, we got 53 decibels. And at 25% volume, we're gonna go right here. 37 decibels, okay? When you're watching this video and looking at basically where we're at, just try to think about this. And if you want, pull out your phone right now, find some white noise, put it at 25 to 30% volume. That's roughly how loud a CPAP is gonna be, okay? Now, specifically talking, let's talk about the mask that we tried. So we tried a P10 mask. Now, using an AirSense 11 uh, pressure of five, with the humidifier on, EPR on level one, so basically how most people would use it at a level five, I was getting around less than 30 decibels. So this guy here wasn't even picking it up all the time. I had a little otter holding the decibel meter and I put the decibel meter kind of roughly where head of a spouse might lie, basically a foot away, two feet away from me type of thing. At that range, I was getting less than 30 decibels. So very, very quiet. At uh, 10 pressure, I was still getting less than 30 decibels. There, there were a few seconds, split seconds of where it would go above 30 decibels, like 32 decibels, something like that. And that was during maybe the peak of the exhale type of thing, but for the most part, we're in that 30 decibel range. Uh, for 15 pressure with the P10, I was getting 31 to 33 decibels on average with a peak of 35 decibels. And then a 20 pressure, 32 to 38 decibels um, with a peak of 41. Now with the P30, this guy here is a little bit louder. I should mention that the P10 is one of the quietest masks. Uh, now I tried the P30 because it has a different exhaust up here and a little bit of a diffuser down here. So you have dual diffusers. And it got for a five pressure, again, around that 30 decibel mark. With a 10 pressure, 31 decibels on average. With a 15 pressure, it was getting 31 to 36 decibels, peaking at 40 decibels and a 20 pressure, 35 to 42 decibels with a peaking of 46 decibels, okay? So definitely louder with the P30i. Now, we, there are some other masks that are louder, specifically have a little more wind coming out of the diffuser, like an N20, for example, where it's really blowing a lot of air, and that air can hit the blankets, hit the pillow, ricochet back, and create more noise and more disturbances. So a mask does play a huge part. So if that interests you, go check out our quietest mask video so you can find the quietest mask for you. That being said, with all of this, it's not really gonna disturb your partner if you have one, uh, not nearly as much as snoring does, I guarantee you that. Now with the P30i, in terms of your use, you using it at home, uh, you're gonna feel that when you wear this mask, this air is gonna run next to your ear like any hollow frame mask, and you're gonna feel that vibration right here and therefore it's gonna be a little louder for you, okay? So even though I say it's like 32 decibels, so that's the outside world hearing you, your actual experience, I'm not gonna to lie to you, is gonna be a little bit louder. When you have a little leak next to you, uh, when you have a hollow frame like this, you definitely are gonna hear more noise than your partner is gonna hear. Very hard to test because I can't really put this decibel meter inside my head. If I were to say accurately what I best think, it's probably, Close as if you took, again, your white noise on your phone here, uh, put it at about halfway, and kind of put it on the back of your head, that's probably gonna be the closest 
uh, to a CPAP noise experience you can get without getting a CPAP, okay? Now, how do we mitigate some of these noises? Like I said, a big thing is going to be using the right mask for you. So if you are sensitive to noises, you're gonna to wanna to check out nasal masks, such as the Eson is gonna be your quietest on nose nasal mask. Your quietest cradle mask is probably gonna be an N30. So do your research and check out our videos on mask quietness. That's gonna be the first thing. The second thing is you can just get earplugs, uh, either wax earplugs are my favorite or different types of earplugs. The wax ones are, are the best, I think, for CPAP. And you're definitely gonna block out some of the CPAP noise if you have those in or if your partner has them in. Um, at last, a, a big thing is actually adding more noise. And I know this sounds kind of weird, but what makes the CPAP noise annoying to most people is that it fluctuates. Every inhale and exhale has a different noise frequency and different volume to that. And that is actually, for most people, what is the most annoying. Um, so what you can really do actually is back to the white noises. So say you're using a P10 at a 15 pressure. So that's a 31 to 33 decibel range. Take your white noise and bump it up to 34 decibels ish. So it's slightly louder than this. And that's gonna even out the entire CPAP process. So you're not gonna hear the inhales and exhales, inhale and exhale anymore. So you can definitely try adding more noise to get less noise, if that makes any sense at all. Um, and that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, leave a like or a comment down below. Sleep well, guys. See you later.